everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so today's episode we are going to talk about the update that is dropping tomorrow june 10th so for the first part of the update as you can see here attendance book for new users or returning users in celebration of season eve has been added because i think they will have a lot of login rewards for this event okay so there's a maintenance plan for season eve june 10th you may not access the game during the maintenance and let, let us check the details below maintenance period is around we'll see this is around four hours more or less this will turn out to be five six or seven hours or eight even so expect exos here is to extend this effect you may not access the game during the maintenance of course and let's move on to the maintenance so to the new update new path of trials uh will have an update so saint saint west bosses are coming back to the path of trials new path of trials path of the silent dead is divided into 12 into 14 boss stages battle of the boss that came back stronger along with the new path of trials update story chapters 18 battle balance and special mission difficulties have been lowered okay so good for those who want to um three star these stages new fate core update we've been waiting for this actually for a couple of uh weeks already and we have anticipated this the arrival of bernavas so bernavas is fully blue blue cotton bernavas so again she is from the parallel world period the same as the maintenance as you can see for the hero i well she again um a lot of orientally inspired um theme in this in this dress the design as well actually i saw her animations already actually if you i think you you saw her animation in the core raid they're actually very excellent so um i'm looking forward to seeing them again once this update drops let's see her additional stats so for the fate core that you will be getting an attack of 27 defense of 45 health of 216 and combat power of 9000 will be added as you equip that fate core and also for to start is the passive skill so thrust 3 deals damage to an attacker upon taking damage 30 percent afflicts the attacker with stun for 5 to 12 turns based on own current health when the attack hits Gains mana 1 mana if health of target is at 80% or more health. Removes 1 mana from the target and then gains 1 mana to self if health of target is at 30% or less. Okay. She also has Dragonite Blessing. So increased damage dealt to dragons with dra dragon skill of order activated by 250%. So again, she is actually very good with the dragon. Overtime effect decreases the enhanced dragon fang effect used by machine element dragon of order by 20 percent and here is the additional passive which we are expecting same as um fc ulum's black fate core you have flag of providence mark increases defense by 20 percent for each back row hero and attack by 20 percent for each front row hero at the start of the battle okay first first um, skill or s1 is song of cottons which is so so cottony <laughs> single deals 150 damage to one enemy that is effect affl afflicts the target with shock for three turns next is s2 flower of the full moon back row first deals 150 damage to all back row enemy status effect shock for five turns again um first impression is um the passive is actually impressive but the skills are more or less the same um single target shock for s1 then um back row aoe for s2 which is i hope they would just put it there all damage to all not just the back row so more or less again a same as the regular burn of us he is much more tankier because of flag of providence but aside from that, this is actually a very underwhelming kit. Um, same reaction with Ulum's uh, Black Fate Core. Not that much. Um, I would suggest that you hold off on her if you if you plan to pu pull her. Um, she is good if you really want to get um, 
the new Fate Core of Bernavas. But again, I don't think she will put a dent in the meta anytime soon with this kit. Um, she is actually good if you want to just collect the hero for its design. Okay, so precaution again, it's uh, going to be a probability, it's going to be 0.7%, and 19 core mileages to guarantee you obtain her. Again, we are expecting blue fate core garf, so I would suggest you, you save your zest for that banner, not for this one. Again, um, only summon this if you are really wanting to have a new FC Bird of Us for your collection. But aside from that, I don't think she'll impact the meta. And also, we have a lot more better um, uh, heroes that give gives out status effects. So again, pretty much regular Fate Core. Exclusive weapon chance up 100. Blooming Flowers. Burn of Us, exclusive weapon. The favorite stick, stick sword of Burn of Us from the Parallel World. So again, as much as I, I am a broken record from time to time, again, I don't recommend this the exclusive weapon because again um for the fate core that's not really that overpowering or not really special and also the um, the exclusive weapon is you know much more reason that you should not get the exclusive weapon again this is just for me a waste of this <clears throat> Try to save your zest for the next banner, probably Blue Fate Core Lube. So let's move on to the precautions again for hunting blooming 100 blooming flowers. It's 0.7%. So again, please stay away from this beautiful exclusive weapon chance up. Okay. Again, also do not recruit for FC Burn of Us. That is actually my recommendation. Let's move on to. The Season 4 EVE Celebration Core Reverses. So a total of 5 Core Reverses will be held during the 2-week Season 4 EVE period. So Core Reverse, you have their Legger June 10th to 17th. Liffy June 12th to 19th. Jin will be June 14th to 21st. Baelish is June 15th to 22. And Degas will be on June 17th. To June 24. So again, a lot of core reverses happening just in a week. So let's take a look at their core reverses. I do hope that these are these are actually I, I just browsed through them. Didn't really understand what I was reading because I was in a hurry. But again, let's let's uh, browse through them again um, in terms of my first or second impression of them. Okay, so here is Legger. So again. The design of Legger is actually good. It's actually nice. Um, like a celestial goddess with long ears or long bunny ears. This rec this actually um, reminds me of a new series in you know Netflix, but let's not talk about that. Okay, so for the passive, I'll just uh, discuss the new passive passive that she has. So to complement her passive, she now has final prayer. If there are no living allies other than self at the start of round, gain one mana. Um, which is not really important because I think she's a healer, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, she has revived, sorry. So, it's actually important to her. So, she has revived, and she has heals. And Merciful Hug, special if an ally takes damage and their health falls below 30% or below, grants a banner of 10% of own maximum health for 5 turns. Okay, this is actually good. This complements what she has, her kit, and I think this would be a good, you know, addition, both of them. So, mana for the first, and the other one is a is a barrier. 10% of own maximum health for 5 turns for 1 round. Okay, but this is actually good. So, more or less, it can fuel his, uh, both, of his uh, both of her skills. For her S1 and her S2. S1, um, especially because it has revived. So this will be fueled by Final Prayer. And this one, Merciful Hog, would be would just be additional protection for survivability. So again, she's a healer. And uh, she actually increases health uh, cleanses as well. So again, very good addition. She's actually, I think, viable in, not in PvP, probably in PvP tag. 
um she could be viable probably in arcverse if they you know if they really repair arcverse and they really 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 make sure that it doesn't you know slip up again anyway so this is it um i like the core reverse for for legger this actually supports her kit uh and more or less um she can be used again in pvp not in pvp but in pvp tag okay so she will have there is actually a summon banner for her again same with the uh, 19 core mileages as required fate core chance is 0.7 percent so uh, again, uh, core reverse with a banner for. I think this will start. This will be the first one. The second one would be. And sorry, there's an exclusive weapon. So again, bad news. Do not get the exclusive weapon. I tell you, do not stay away from exclusive weapons. They are just a trap for your zest. Okay, moving on to the next. You have core reverse chance for astral idol Liffy. So Liffy, I'm going to take a look at the new skill. So she has uh, for her passive. So Magical Harmony increases on attack by 6% at the start of Ally's turn and removes all attack increased buff from Magical Harmony at the start of enemy's turn. Hmm. Increases on attack by 6% at the start of Ally's turn. And removes all attack increase buff from magical harmony at the start of the enemy's turn okay um this is just a, actually a self buff increases on attack okay um okay kind of kind of bit okay um not really impressive uh s1 would be um has a different uh, effect after so piercing damage was added then damage was was lowered down um kind of good as well but i'm not sure with this one um this kit is for liffy is about um if i may say for for legger it's a thumbs up for me but for this one i don't think and this is a thumbs down for me i don't think this impacts her kit that much um very lacking you know core reverse if i may say and that is only my opinion guys but again if you want to get her with the new passive be my guest again i don't think that her new core reverse is enough for her to be brought in any content probably in pve but not in, P in either pvp or pvp tag Okay, so again, the recruit chance is at 0.7% and 19 core mileage is still required to obtain. And there's again an exclusive weapon, which I am not recommending that you get. And let's move on to the next, which is actually what I'm looking forward to, which is core reverse for soft silver hair Jin. Okay, let's see what, what they did to Jin. I haven't seen... Jin's um, core reverse because I took a peek of Baelish and I think the first one which is Legger but for Jin I did not see his core reverse so again here he is he's the only one that I'm looking forward to be you know, reworked for Astorius and let's take a look at his passive so for finishing blow he has an additional skill which is stealth Secret stealth technique. Special grant stealth to self is there if there is an enemy marked with branding. What's branding? Marketing? He's a marketing guy. <laughs> marked with branding. Okay, so let's 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 take a look at what branding is. Mark with branding. Increases dodge. Again, again. Grant stealth to self if there's an enemy marked with branding. Increases dodge by 30 and reduces own received damage from attacks that attack that targets all by 30%. Okay. Removes all branding marks from all enemies and secret stealth technique effect when attack. Okay. So my question is, who gives branding? So let's take a look at his uh, at his S. S1 first there's a there's a change 
deals 180 damage to one enemy, resets own turn if target dies, then same. Ambush if afflicts target with silence for three turns and mana burn for if target is charmed. Here it is. Mark. Afflicts branding mark that decreases target's hit by 50 when a skill hits a charm target, which is actually good. So it decreases the target's hit. Okay. So this enemy might, you know, will definitely miss somebody on the other end so more or less the same so branding is applied by s1 and s2 so that is the big difference and let's go back to the passive so grant stealth to self in an enemy if an enemy marked with branding increases dodge by 30 okay and reduces own received damage from attacks anyway, with branding increases dodge by 30 and reduce oh, okay so this is an additional buff to him if that enemy or that hero has branding, which actually he gives with his S1 and 2, dodge is increased by 30 and reduces damage received by AoE by 30%. Okay, this is good. I like this and I'm going to build my FC Jin now. I'm actually prioritizing Esther, um, uh, Stories Republic. So... More or less, I'm going to try to build FC Jin. I have FC Jin. I am not sure if I'm going to pull for other copies, but again, this is a good upgrade to his skills. He becomes a more ninja. I'm sorry, wrong term. He become he becomes more of a ninja because of this. Okay, so again, very good up update on his skills um but i give this a thumbs up because again it gives him more viability in pvp probably and survivability as well and he could join um Janai, shell and adams for the four people in Astoria's republic that i think you could use now in pvp okay so again same um this one is 0.5 to get a chance increase and 28 core mileages if you choose to pull on Jin, Jin's banner. Okay, and um, I'm not suggesting the, the what you call this, the exclusive weapon. So don't pull, please. So unless you really like FC Jin and you would like to focus building him moving forward, then go for it. But my suggestion is please don't because again, the percentage also drops, especially if it's a gold fate core, uh, and the 28 core mileage as well also goes up. Okay, core reverse next for Baelish, which actually I'm excited because I think Baelish has been due for an update uh, or an upgrade for a long time. Let's see what he has if I can still remember it. <laughs> okay, so no passive on. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a passive, there's an additional passive. So for he's actually the only um uh first guardian that i think is not being used or isn't really considered in any battle so his passive here is addition is fallen earth debuff so it decreases defense of target by 50 percent for 10 turns when the enemy is afflicted with a damage over time effect this is nice and he has damage over time, which is his corrosion. This is good. The 50 is actually big. Decrease of 50% in defense if they have a damage over time effect. This is good. I may say that uh, probably he's now viable in PvP tag. Just gonna, you know, say it out loud. The design is actually good. He, he's actually just a trash character ever since. But with this addition for Baelish, I think he would be a very good addition to your PvP tag teams. Because again, he's a first dragon and now he can lower defenses. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. Another thumbs up. So, so far, three thumbs up and one thumbs down. The only thumbs down is for... um I forgot who it is. I think it's uh, Liffy, yes. 
It's only for Liffy. But again, more or less for Baelish, I like the rework for his passive and I like the, this rework. So looking forward for him to be used more often. And the probability to get him is 0.7% and 19 core, core mileage just because he is a black fate core. We only so far have one gold fate core, which is FC Jin. And the exclusive weapon, again, I'm not suggesting that you get this. Again, skip this unless you really, really love to pull for Baelish and his exclusive weapons will be my guest. Next, or the last core reverse would be Beach by the Sea, Degas. Degas is actually viable, but the problem with um, him is he is Frost. So Summer's Blessing, he is going to be affected by it. So let's see the, the reverse for him. So he has uh, in his passive another passive CPR. So special resets on turn if an ally affected by caster's share health dies. Okay. So he didn't do a good job protecting that character. Okay, so it's fault. So he resets a turn. So um, this guy doesn't help a lot. Anyway, um, next would be lifeguard. So increases own defense by 10% if there is an enemy with higher defense than self at the start of the battle, which is kind of good. A good buff addition because he has shared health. And so far, that's it. No buffs for, for S1 and S2. So for this one, um, let me think. Let me think. Um, I don't think this is going to be special. Um, I'm going to give this a thumbs down because it it really wouldn't put a dent in your meta. Um, again, uh, res uh, turn reset and uh, additional defense boost. That's it. So. More or less, kind of, kind of the border of being thumbs up or, or thumbs down. But for me, I'm going to give this a thumbs down. So, so far, three thumbs up and two thumbs down. The two thumbs down will be Liffy and Degas. The, uh, the, the three with thumbs ups are um, Legger, Jin, and the other one is Baelish, surprisingly. Okay, let's proceed because we have a lot to cover um exclusive weapon again um skip this please um this is a trap for your zest okay so for the part two of the announcement maximum number of alliances has been increased from 50 to 75 which you know a lot have been asking you know have been asking me to add them so again this will free up and more or less um if if we are good friends, I I will really add you guys. So more or less, I will actually help you with your core memory as well. So core sharing core sharing slot has been expanded to one to two. So this is also good. Um, but you have to pay one thousand crystals for this one, which again should have been free. Uh. Anyway, season four, new uh, Eve, new re re returning user book. So there will be a new book for returning users and new users. Period. So this is the rewards for returning users and new users. So again, it's a, now a best time to start Exos Heroes because of the returning users attendance book and a new user attendance book. Okay, so Zest, Gold, Fated Crafted, our Fated Hero Selection Ticket, which is in the Returning, which is good. S special Fated Hero Selection Ticket, good as well. Special, okay, okay kind of good. Well, anything free is always good, so <laughs> why complain? So more or less, these are the banners, or these are the, the books that will be, will be opening. From the Faded Hero Selection Ticket, you can choose one hero, Ramji, Barak Avalar Ulum, Kailak Maggie, Mahar, Bernadette, Emma, Talia, Bernavas, Baelish, Sabrina, Anastasia, Chatty, Awakened Zion, John, Doc, and Lang. From the Special Faded Hero Selection, you can choose out uh, one hero, Rachel, Bathory, Garb, Shifrak, and so more or less all of the general. So Special Faded Hero Selection will be all be present in the last day, which is day 7. So again, 
this is actually good a good freebie for everybody those who have been building signature force has another you know another chance to get a general infinity core of course they're going to shut it down hopefully they shut it down for good and change it but again i'm also expecting that if they temporarily close this one they're going to finally open this for season not just for preseason okay hero battle would be lepin um obtainable amount in solar seals would be increased so from exploration battle against gale exploration of Bruin, side store and contents have been increased by 30 percent than the original amount which is actually about time after a year and monthly mi season mission arc first mission completed we have changed the participant okay so this is going to be automatically be completed because again they still have bugs in arcverse so again up to now i still haven't played arcverse and now i have two losses already so again xo zeros please fix your game because a lot of people are getting disappointed with your arcverse and they are excited as well to play it so again fix your game please Bug fixes, Arcverse, Blue Fate Core, Village Call, blah, blah, blah. And we are done. So anyway, guys, this is actually a small update. But I think there will there is actually a ton of rewards here. So more or less, this any update which is rewards is actually good. And the core verse is actually a, a, a fresh addition or a breath of fresh air for all of us. So okay, guys. For those of you who have stuck to the till the end of this video, please consider subscribing because this might help. This helps my channel a lot. And also don't forget to click the bell icon. And if you like this video, please click or have a thumbs up for a like for this video. And for comments, please put them down. I will actually be happy to read all your comments and to reply to them. And always guys, Stay safe, take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.